Welcome, I'm Brian Hayes. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up field history tracking in Salesforce. So what field history tracking allows you to do is record the changes that happen to a particular field on a record. So we're looking at a lead record here. Let's say, for example, we want to track product interest. We've got a field there, but we wanna see how that changes over time on this lead record in case it does change. Well, we can set that up in the object manager. Now, most companies I've worked with, they don't use this history tracking too often, and they don't use it across too many fields. It's most effective when you limit it to just the most important fields that you care about. Even if it was possible to track the history of every single field, we really wouldn't want to. It's just too much information to keep track of. But once we have this enabled, you'll be able to see what the old value of the field was, what the new value of the field is, who changed it, and when that change was made. To set this up, click the gear in the upper right-hand corner and go to the Object Manager. And you can set this up for any object in the system. And then click on Fields and Relationships on the left-hand side, and you'll see right there in the upper right, Set History Tracking. Click on that, and you can check the box to enable lead history, in this case, and then check the box next to the fields that you'd like to track. So in our case, we wanted to track product interest. You can see that here in the lower left-hand corner. Perhaps we also want to track the address. Let's check that. And let's add mobile phone, email, and phone number as well. Now there is a limit to how many fields you can track on each object, so just keep that in mind. If you check too many boxes, it'll give you a little warning, and it'll tell you that you need to deselect some of them in order to save this setting here. Okay, we've enabled field history tracking. Now if you come into page layouts, you can add a related list to that layout that previously wasn't there. Click on the related list option at the top. And you can see now we've got this new related list called lead history. I'm gonna click that and drag it down and then hit save. Let's go back to our lead record and I'm gonna change the product interest. From the GC 5000 series, let's look at the GC 1000 series instead and hit save. Now, if we come to our related tab, we can see we've got this related list called lead history. And you can see that on this date at this time, product interest was changed by the user, David Rose. That's who I'm logged in as. The original value was this, and the new value is this. So Salesforce is actually creating a record each time that special field, that field of interest has changed, which means you can report on this too. So you can certainly see the history here if ever you need to look at it. But if you wanna run a report on these changes or just on one of the many fields that you're tracking, you can create that in the standard reporting system. But if you wanna report on say just a specific field that you're tracking instead of all of them, you can create a report and filter down to that field in the standard report builder. I hope this video was helpful to you and it saved you some time. If you wanna learn more about Salesforce and Pardot, take a look at our courses at academy.rotive.io. Thanks for watching.